everybody I wonder if you have noticed lately that the butternuts are just extremely um, cheap I don't know I've saw this at the marketplace they were gigantic butternuts but we managed to buy these six butternuts for 20 Rand and I actually put a photo of reference just to show how big they were I think my daughter chose the biggest ones that's a grapefruit and a nachi with it so these were not medium size they were definitely larger than medium size so this soup recipe, I'll put the recipe right at the end, takes one medium sized butternut. So I did take more, um, a bigger butternut, so I added a little bit more water towards my end. Then you take a pot that you want to use. First thing that you add is your olive oil in the, in the pot, not on the stove yet. You just add your ingredients. Take one medium sized onion and then you chop your onion. Easy to do and then you just add that in with your olive oil still not on the stove you just uh, do your ingredients before you going to put it in the stove three cloves of garlic um, I just thought I'll put it in pictures for you and then I don't know you press it you mince it what do you call it you can dice it if you don't have a press mince then you add it in and then I think the special ingredient that makes this soup really nice is a fresh fresh piece of ginger so yeah I've got my piece um, and I also chop it up I actually didn't have enough and I added some of my le leftover sushi ginger which was pink you add some salt and pepper for taste I use black pepper the recipe actually says white pepper it doesn't really matter and then also another um, thing that makes it nice another spice is thyme so fresh or dry thyme I always put both in because I have both and then now it's time to have it on the pot and saute it so here you can see now your butternut you peel it and after that you chop it up and then you add that into the pot of the sorted items and you give it a good stir through so all those lovely things come right through to all the it absorbs it a little bit into the butternut I suppose it's not really that important cooking it will also do it but um, that is one of the things that I'm doing over here stir it right through and then you know you are basically nearly done with your soup <laughs> two more ingredients that you have to add to your soup is now the liquid so I use chicken stock vegetable stock is harder to come by but I know that you do get it so it's up to you so a liter of stock you add it in with your pot and um, it just carries on then cooking after that is all added in so this is where if you have too much um, butternut you can always add an extra cup of water or liquid or two cups of stock so it all depends up to you and you can always double the recipe too so now it's time for it to simmer or boil for about a half an hour or until the butternut is completely done this is how it looks like now my butternut is done and it is now time for it to become a smooth soup and blending stick is in and now I'm blending it a little bit at the beginning it always looks like it's not gonna go and then suddenly it goes a lot quicker so after the blending is done you have your smooth soup ready for its very last ingredient to go in so i always make my soup in a pot and if we don't eat it directly i put it over into the slow cooker and then i put it on low just to keep it warm the soup has to be very hot when you drink it or eat it there it's fully blended and here we are ready for our very last ingredient which is also a magic one coconut milk and sometimes i put the whole tin in and then we are done and there is my new cups that I bought at ShopRite with the soup inside and I you can present it with a little bit of coconut nut milk at the top yeah with a little fresh piece of thyme I didn't have coconut milk left over so I put a little bit of cream in there and voila ready for you to enjoy and here's the recipe bye